So many modern vehicles don't have a spare tyre and they might just have a basic sort of goo repair kit which is pretty awful. And although punctures are pretty rare these days, if once you get one you don't want to be immobilised. So there is an alternative to the sort of standard goo repair kit and I'm going to explain what that is now. Now it starts with an air compressor like this. This particular one you just plug into your 12 volt and that's not absolutely ideal for a compressor because that wiring isn't really designed for that sort of heavy load but on a small car like the Elise that kind of works. Um, do make sure that it only draws about 15 amps uh, maximum and uh, also make sure that you buy, whilst it might be small, a high quality unit because there's some really cheap ones out there which are just overheat and just completely useless after about three or four minutes. This one seems to work out, um, pretty well for me and it comes in this nice little box as well. Now you'll definitely need a tyre pressure gauge, um, should have one of those standard and sometimes when you get a slow leak the compressor is all you need, maybe you can just stop every 15-20 minutes, half an hour and then just put a bit more air in the tyre and limp on to the point where you're going to get to, so the compressor itself could be perhaps all you need. But maybe you actually need to repair a tyre, maybe there's some form of nail in it um, or screw or something and you can actually do that without removing the tyre from the car um, or using a spare tyre, using a puncture repair kit or plug tyre repair kit like this and that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. So you'll just need that repair kit and you'll also find it very useful, you should have one of these anyway, some form of multi-tool with a knife and particularly pliers as well. All right, so if I'm going to demonstrate how to actually repair a puncture, I need a puncture to begin with. So here we go. So it's time for me to puncture the tyre of my Elise. Only kidding, I'm not going to do that. I love this car and I love the tyres on it because they're new. Instead, what I'm going to do is grab one of my old tyres here off my Toyota 86, this is an 8808R and um, it's past its use by date so I just use it for playing around with puncture repair techniques now. So we are going to puncture this, very satisfying to do this. And as you can see there, air is definitely coming out so that is now well and truly punctured. Now the multi-tool is really handy because you can use it to lever out the injury. Like that and then let me get the pliers bit underneath it. Right, the next stage is we open up our tyre repair kit and we remove the reamer which is this because we actually need to make that hole a little bigger so the plug will fit. So if um, obviously this is a loose tyre at the moment, um, if it wasn't then you just need to roll the car around to the point where you could sort of work on it at the back of the car. If it's in the front it's easy, you could just go full lock and then roll the tyre backwards and forwards until you can get to a working point. But this is a loose tyre so we'll work on it as a loose tyre. So basically you take your roamer, you insert it in and you basically push it down. Now this takes some effort, um, even in a little tyre like the 8800R, but basically you're looking to push the roamer all the way through like that and open up that hole so the plug fits in it. Kind of feels weird that you're making a hole bigger but um, that's basically what you're doing. So once that's made sufficiently large then you can pull it out now. What I would do at this point is, once I've made it large, I'd actually leave the Roma in there because then that will plug the hole temporarily and stop air escaping because that just means it's just less air to blow up. So I'm going to put that back in and that will stop air escaping for the moment whilst we do the next bit. All right, the next bit is the actual uh, plug repair tool which is this and the plug itself which is one of those. So we're all remove our plug like that and put that to one side and then this um, threads through 
the hole in the centre there. Now, where this is where um, the pliers come in because I find it useful just to flatten the edge of the plug a little bit like that. And then once that's done, it can then be threaded through or pushed through the tire repair tool like that and then when it's pushed through a bit what you can do is you can then just take your pliers grab the other side of it and then pull it through oops pull it through so it's about halfway through then once you've done that just grab some um, there's some lube supplied or some rubber sealant just dip it in a bit of lubricant always makes life a bit easier put that to one side and then you're ready to remove the reamer and that comes out thumb over the hole and then this is the top bit what you're going to do is push it in like that and then hold that bit down and then bring it up like so 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 where it takes a bit of effort so you push that down and then hard down like so that's pretty much down now now we hold this bit down and pull the other bit up so we do that give it a bit of a twist and release and that's the plug repair done. Now, you don't have to cut off the ends here. There's no need for that. It will roll around quite nicely. Um, so I'll put that one to one side because that's now repaired. And I've actually had to do this on many four-wheel drive tyres and including the 86. So this tyre was on my Toyota 86 and that's actually a genuine puncture. It was a um, I think it was a screw and I repaired it with a tyre repair kit, the plug repair kit which I just carry in, in the 86, in fact all my cars I carry one and um, yeah that got me home no problem at all and it stayed. Now, it's, it's a temporary repair I should stress that so you should get the tyre professionally repaired with a proper patch etc whenever you can but it will get you out of trouble. I should also stress that you should only attempt to do these repairs in the tread area of the tyre here. Um, don't do it in the sidewall. If you damage a sidewall that needs to be repaired that's actually a tyre right off. You're only allowed to legally repair tyres in the tread area and that's where it's safest. So this whole situation, this whole kit here, it's not going to get you out of trouble every single time, but it will deal with slow uh, leaks with the compressor. And if you get a nail or something through the tire uh, tread, then it will allow you to deal with that. I've used it on four wheel drives many, many times. So that's a lot better than nothing. So I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe, like, subscribe, share, etc. Any questions, just drop them in the comments. Thanks.